Hey everybody, this is Andre here with the Kevin Breeze channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks for the camera of the Blue G91. Let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you guys is how to launch the camera in a faster way than just opening the camera app. So normally you would just unlock the phone or go to the home screen if you're already on the phone and open the camera app. But I'm going to show you a much simpler way to do this. All you need to do is double tap the power button and it's going to open right up. It's going to ask you which app you want to use to open your camera. If you have more than one camera app, Snapchat, open camera, all that kind of stuff. And once you choose the one you want to use for it to open, it's going to open right up. Super easy. You can do it from anywhere on your phone and it's a lot faster. So if you're trying to use something like Snapchat to capture a quick moment or whatever you might be doing, then it's going to take a lot less time. The next thing I'm going to show you is actually an alternative to the shutter button. So this is really meant for if you're holding your phone at a weird angle and can't actually reach the shutter button. So for example, you're holding the phone like this. I don't really know what would cause you to end up having to hold the phone like this, but there are probably many different situations. So we're going to go to the settings menu and activate touch shooting. And now when you take a picture, you're just going to have to touch anywhere on the screen and it's going to take the picture. It's a really useful feature for a lot of different situations. And I'm definitely glad that this phone has this. The alternative that a lot of phones have is the floating shutter button which I think is really cool as well, but this is Blue's version of it, and I think it's still just as effective, if not more effective in certain situations. The next thing I'm gonna show you is the grid line. So you would be using this feature to make sure that something is in the center of your frame or perfectly at the top or a corner or whatever it may be. Basically, the point of the grid line is to make sure everything is lined up properly. So we're gonna hit settings right here and activate the grid line, and it's gonna show up and once you're done with it, or if you just decide you don't want to use it anymore, hit that same button and it'll go away. Now this next thing is actually a front facing camera feature. You might notice that when you take pictures sometimes, depending on the phone you're using, the picture on the front facing camera might show up in the gallery the opposite direction that it was on the screen when you took it. Now that is because of the mirroring effect. Basically the front facing camera is mirrored so you can see it properly, but there's a way to make it so whatever you take on the front facing camera is gonna show up exactly how you see it. So we're gonna go to settings again, and right here, see where it says mirror? We're gonna hit that, and when mirror is activated, then when you take a picture on the front facing camera, it's gonna show up exactly how you see it, whereas when mirror is not on, then when you take a picture on the front facing camera, it's gonna show up the complete opposite way in your gallery. It's really up to personal preference, what you like. I don't like having it opposite at all, so I always have the mirror effect on because when I'm taking a picture through the front facing camera, I always like to know that whatever I see on the screen is actually how the picture is gonna turn out. Now right now, when you're in camera mode and you press the volume key, it's gonna take a picture but I'm gonna show you how to change this. So we're gonna to go to settings again and see where it says volume key feature. We're gonna select that. And now we have three different options. Right now the volume keys activate the shutter. So if you're in video mode, it'll start shooting a video. If you're in photo mode, it's gonna take the picture. We can also have it change the volume if you're actually listening to something or whatever this case may be. While you're taking a picture, you can still use the volume keys to control that if you have this activated, and then zoom. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So when zoom is activated, you press the volume keys to zoom in and out. And I like that too, it's pretty cool, but my personal favorite is the shutter. I do like to be able to take a picture just by hitting the volume key. So I personally think the shutter is really cool. You might like different things, so I definitely suggest to play around with it and see which one works best for you. Now one really popular feature in pretty much every smartphone camera these days is portrait mode. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to activate it because it's not quite as obvious on this phone as it is on some. Usually portrait mode is gonna be down here somewhere, but actually on this phone, portrait mode is this little icon right here. You're gonna hit that and then portrait mode is gonna be activated and remember, you have to be within that certain distance 
from your subject in order for it to work. It's probably not gonna work here with this example, but you get the picture. Portrait mode is that little obscure looking icon right at the top on that little bar. And to turn it off, you hit that same thing and it'll go off back to normal photo mode. It's pretty easy, but it is a little bit weird. And it's definitely good to know about it now so you don't end up wasting a bunch of time looking for it on the bottom where it usually is on other phones. Now I'm gonna go over a little bit about flash control. Right now, as you can see here, the flash is in auto. And that means the flash is gonna be activated depending on the lighting. If you have really bad lighting, I don't know if this is actually going to do anything. There we go. You see the flash working. But if you have really good lighting where there's no need for a flash, it's not going to actually work. But if you go up here and hit the icon and actually turn flash completely on, then no matter what kind of lighting you have, flash is going to be on, as you see there. And if you do the same thing, turn flash completely off, now, when you take a picture, no matter what the lighting is, the flash is just not gonna be on at all. I like to have my flash on auto just because I don't really like to play around with settings, but I know a lot of people do like to customize their settings to fit their taste, so you can definitely do that with this phone. All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you is anti-flicker mode. So we're gonna hit the settings button, and right here it says anti-flicker, and by default it's set to auto, but you can have it at a bunch of different settings if you want. I personally don't know a whole lot about those different numbers. I like to have it on auto. Basically what this does is kind of controls the lighting so something flickering won't get distracting in a video or a picture. But I personally don't like to mess with it. But it is good to know where it is on the settings menu because a lot of people do like to customize their things a lot more than I do. The next thing I'm gonna show you is night mode. Now to activate night mode, you're actually gonna to go to more, and then night mode is right here. Super easy to activate. Now it's really not gonna work in this lighting, of course, but when you do have your phone on night mode, it's gonna be able to take a picture in the dark and still have it turn out pretty decent. Without night mode, usually a picture taken in the dark with or without flash is gonna look pretty bad, but night mode really helps enhance that and make the picture better. And when you're done with the night mode, all you need to do is hit this little X right here and it's gonna go back to normal. And the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is called Pro Mode. Now, I almost never use this, but I know it's a feature that a lot of people who are really into their pictures will appreciate. So down at this tab right here, we're gonna hit More. And right here, you see Pro Mode. You're gonna select that. And it has all of these different features at the bottom that you can customize to really fit exactly what specs you want. Now, I don't really use this at all just because I don't know what a lot of this stuff does, but if you are into photography and you really like to have control over every aspect of the photo, then this is a really good way to do it. It has a lot more customizable settings that you can play around with to make the picture how you want it to look. Just like with night mode, when you're done with pro mode, all you need to do is hit this X right here and it's gonna go back to the regular photo mode. As an extra little bonus, this phone does have an ultra wide camera and it's super easy to activate. Again, it doesn't have anything that says it, but all you need to do is press this little button right here and it's gonna go to that wide angle shot and you'll be able to use the ultra wide camera. Once you wanna go back to normal, of course you just hit that button one more time and it'll be back to normal. But these were a few tips and tricks for the camera of the Blue G91. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you learned something useful as well. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.